Hey, here I am. It's the Daily Woody in Central Park in the North Woods, and it's finally raining. This is what I've been waiting for. Uh, there's nobody around. It's heaven. It's also freezing cold and my pants are wet. But uh, other than that, it's absolutely fantastic. See what I mean? Uh, Laurie Close, my imaginary friend, had asked, what was the contingency plan for the rain? It's, it's bringing my lean-to with me. So, that, isn't it gorgeous? Look at this view isn't it? You can never even get near here because if there's water anywhere, people come. I think it's because it's easier to pee in. But that's just my imagination from yesterday's log. Uh, you make your own conclusions. So, here we are. I think this is day eight of the Woody and it's uh, and Woody in the rain. It's Woody in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm happy again. Woo! See, I am also an excellent dancer. Not only an incredible singer, as I think that showed. Maybe we'll have time for a belly high, who knows? Um, but uh, I hope I don't catch my death. <laughs> I don't think you can catch a cold just from being outside in the cold. I think you have to encounter a germ, which would be, although, you know, everybody's paranoid. Last night, I was uh, at home, duh, and uh, I coughed. Could have been clear in my throat, but uh, in any case, it scared me so bad I had diarrhea, which I'm hoping is gonna make my stomach a little flatter, so. You know, something good and everything. But anyway, uh, today, my friend Michael, who I mentioned before, uh, calls me, he lives in LA, which is, I guess, epicenter too, maybe. Well, maybe California, not LA. Just don't die. That's all I ask you, Michael. Uh, I'll probably die first. I'm in the epicenter. Not bragging, not being competitive. Uh, but uh, I, I honestly think this is beginning to affect his mind because uh, this is the information he thought I should know and I thought I would tell you. Uh, he tells me he's read this article, or, or, or maybe it's an advertisement, that a sex, I'm, I brought notes, uh, that a sex doll maker, it's called Silicon Wives. For this, what if you wanted a silicon husband? You know, quite honestly, I don't know why you would. Uh, I can throw my own socks on the floor, but, uh, but people like them. They do, they want them. I don't, I don't. Uh, I, I, for example, I'm not going to marry my boyfriend, Andrew Cuomo. I am not. Uh, he will have to enjoy me as I am and he'll have to go home at night because I'm not gonna live with him either. Yeah, no, been down that road. Um, I think it's better this way. It'll just make him want me more, although I don't even know how that's possible. Uh, but this, uh, this place, it's having a giveaway contest for free sex dolls. And uh, this is what it says. Are you stuck inside with nothing to do for the quarantine? We're giving away free sex dolls to ease your social distancing. Now, first of all, this implies that you don't already have them, so right there there's a flaw in the plan how many do you have i've got three i call them my friends yeah i'm constantly happy to blow up my friends <laughs> estelle you're looking limp but they're a good place to hide change point is if you don't already have your own sex doll this is a place you can go and see whether or not you can uh win one so we need to thank michael for that information and actually, I'm opening this up. I think that uh, I think that was actually really cool. So, anybody that has anything you think I need to talk about, like Eddie with the lean to, which is coming in handy today, um, or starting a fire, which I wish I brought a match because I am freaking freezing. I should have brought those little hand warmer things, uh, but I didn't. So that's all right. Uh, but if there's anything you want me to talk about or, or services that I think I can provide, by all means, put it in the comments. I didn't answer the comments yet from last night. I did read them, but I was watching Rosie's thing. Did you see it on Broadway.com? I loved it. For three and a half hours. For three and a half hours, it's like hope came back. It was. It might have been about the virus, but I wasn't sitting there, you know, except for that one cough, you know, and then I probably missed a song or two, what with the diarrhea. But otherwise, I thought it was absolutely wonderful. So, back to Michael. So Michael, who obviously needs to belong to some kind of anonymous group, uh, also sent me a, a new directive that's come out from New York City. Uh, new York City Health Department, sex and coronavirus disease. Now this to me is more proof that Andrew Cuomo is thinking about me. I mean, it's, it, it is, it's obvious. It's, at this point, it's almost embarrassing because he should just call, but I guess he's shy. You know, he doesn't wanna, he doesn't wanna overstep. So it's all right. He'll get to it. But uh, it's a directive about sex. Can I tell you that sex is the very last thing I have been thinking about? I re uh, th this, it wouldn't have occurred to me to have a directive about sex. I am at home making every effort not to die. But they thought you would need it. So 
uh, it tells you that, uh, and it's very informative, things you would never think of yourself. Uh, you can get COVID from a person who has it. So all of this time sitting around thinking it's aliens, no. It turns out it's people. Do you believe in aliens? I didn't believe in aliens. I didn't want to, uh, I mean, Pete, you know, Pete's all about aliens and uh, I love Star Trek, but I didn't want to believe in aliens because, you know, quite frankly, I have enough trouble with the neighbors. But uh, last year I went to Alien Con with my sister because she wanted to go. I even, wait a minute, wait a minute. I even bought, where'd it go? An alien pen. So it was certainly, you know, worth the, Five hundred. It was, um, but it was really fun. And by the time I left, I thought those fuckers are here. They are here, and I'm not entirely sure they're nice. But they, as it turns out, are not, according to New York skylights. Look how wet this paper is already. Uh, uh, they are not the ones that are spreading uh, the disease. Um, one other thing uh, here, it says that you are the safest partner. You are the safest sex. Well, I know I am, but I can't do everyone. I think Andrew put this in. I am the safest sex partner. Well then, sorry guys, have some salt Peter. Buckle up, I ain't gonna. I'm not doing, well, it also says, you should avoid sex with anyone outside your household. So, we have all become Kentucky. <laughs> not that that's, I don't mean to be rude to Kentucky. I am positive that there are a lot of people in Kentucky that don't do it with their family members. Isn't it? It's, you're just a punchline. Well, New York is a punchline for being rude, so you might as well be a punchline for doing it with, you know, your sister. Um, but so these are the new guidelines uh, from New York City. Um, they are also suggesting that you make sure that you have a good contraceptive. So uh, I'm suggesting menopause because that works really well. I haven't had a baby in days. Um, so there's that. Whoa, look at this. It's all soggy. Everything is all soggy. I wonder how that happened. Uh, did I bring... Yeah, I did. Um, I wanted to talk about uh, people's titles from uh, from the blog, but I can't... Oh! Hello. I wonder when you fell down. I guess it's the water. Um, so people are... Now this is getting annoying. I talk about sex and the camera freaking lubes itself. This is not happening. This is not happening. Uh, thank you everybody uh, who called titles. Uh, we have, I think Sue Bigler called second best friend because Greg Truesdale is my new best friend. And I think, you know, we didn't make any rules. So I think that's fair. You can be my second new best friend. And, uh, oh man, because I don't have my, uh, my oh, Kathy Hogan Stroud called biggest fan, which is really sweet and also very flattering. And then we've got uh, Joe, the total package Stanford. And he goes, get it? And I think, I think that means you're the total package. You have everything as a human being. But if it's something else, especially something that might need uh, New York City's new rules, you're going you're gonna to have to let us know about that. But, ooh, it's cold. I'm glad I came out, though. It's really nice with no one here. And since there's no one here, it occurs to me this could be a good time to fill the only request I have not filled yet from the blog. I think, I think it's time for Valley High. So I, I have a little choreography, so I'll have to put down my umbrella. And if anyone comes, I'll probably be arrested. But just a little singing to cheer us up in this time of disease. <clears throat> Some people live on a lonely island. Manhattan. Lost in the middle of a foggy sea.
Belly high, belly high, belly high. Singing for the Woody. This could not happen on a day where it was not raining. Uh, share it if you like it. I'll see you tomorrow.